Sometimes the words just come out wrong. You have something to convey, something important to your life, something that's been on your mind, something that's been maybe eaten away at you. And you try to tell someone, you try to let them know what's on your mind. And my goodness, you say it wrong or it's received wrong or whatever it may be. And it just turns into something bigger than what you wanted it to. When the words just come out wrong. You ever been there? I have. <laughs> and, and, and you're just trying to get something off your chest. You're just trying to relieve a little stress, convey a message. And maybe it's built up anger. Maybe it's resentment. Maybe it's personal issues and the way you phrase it it just doesn't stick <laughs> or it doesn't stick properly you know I think that's when many times we just have to slow down and consider what we're trying to say and get it out in the right form and sometimes this stuff happens and there's nothing we can do about it. It's just going to go wrong. Um, but sometimes we gotta get things off our chest. We have to let things out. We gotta let things go, you know? We just gotta let things out. And we can't be scared to hold in our opinions and our thoughts and our issues, but Do we stop and think before we speak? Do we take time to consider the other person's point of view? Many times not, <laughs> you know? Many times we're just getting it out there as much as we can, just so that we feel good. Sometimes we gotta hold our tongue. Sometimes we need to realize this is not the right time. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited till tomorrow after I thought about the issue, about the time when things just come out wrong. And a lot of times it's not of our doing. It's the other person's point of view, what they think we're trying to convey. And that's especially bad when you're trying to type a message or, or do something over the phone, you know, things come out very wrong that way because there's no, there's no facial expressions. There's no, there's no time to think. We type something and it's just out there, you know? <laughs> so I think that's a lot of times when God's wisdom and our experience comes into play. When I stop and I say, okay, Lord, I need to get this off my chest. I need to let this person know what I'm trying to convey, that something has hurt me or something that's sitting wrong with me. Give me the right words and the right time to do it. But I think what occurs is our emotions get the best of us. And we just throw it out without much thinking, without much care. And things go wrong. <laughs> So do you apologize? Do you say, I'm sorry, I, I came across in that manner? After a moment of contemplation, after some time of thinking or after everything hits the fan. <laughs> you know? When things just come out wrong, you know, what are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to deal with those situations that we face? So here I am in this beautiful place thinking today about the words that come out of my mouth. Thinking about the way I approach situations, the way I convey a message. And it's okay to hold your tongue. It's okay to wait and contemplate. But there are also those moments when we're righteously angry or something and we got to get it out. We got to let them know how we think or, or what's going on, you know. <sighs> but maybe if 
I would just come to a place like this and sit for a moment. Feel the quiet. Feel God's presence. I would do a better job of conveying an issue, a problem, than when I just go at it in the moment. <laughs> Sometimes in the moment is good, but a lot of times in the moment isn't very good. So pray for me <laughs> that I convey things in a better way. And I'll pray for you that you do the same because it's very important that when we share with something, something that's on our heart or something that's been eaten away at us or something that's hurt us, that we do it in the right way. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes the words will just come out wrong. And it's not always our fault. Sometimes it's the person's way that they perceive our words. But sometimes we do need to stop, take a minute and chill so that the words will come out right.